think I have another one. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for coming to tonight's forum. Um, we have some really uh, amazing and unique opportunity to hear from Whoa. several Whoa. tripwire saved. Uh, <clears throat> great opportunity here uh, uh, from many amazing speakers. But first, we're going to start the program uh, with uh, music from an uh, award winning folk singer, Ross Altman. Should have won lots of awards. <laughs> No award winning anything. Actually, I have won a couple awards. Uh, it's a great honor to be here with uh, our uh, colleagues from the uh, American Revolution and uh, the uh, the uh, Descendants, the descendants of those whom we fought. What a wonderful testament to the possibility of peace in the world. If we can make peace with the British, then there's hope for other areas as well. So it's a great honor to be here with Jim Radford and with Carl Hemming and Ben Griffin. Uh, we were on the radio this morning, uh, Blaise Bon Payne's World Focus. It'll be, uh, we, did, we taped two shows and they'll be broadcast next Sunday at uh, 10 to 11, and then two Sundays from that, August 23rd, uh, from 10 to 11. Hope you get a chance to tune in. And, and, and Jim and I were on the uh, same show uh, yesterday morning at 10. Hope uh, Live, that was live. I know that somebody heard it because they actually came to the concert last night that we did in Altadena and asked Jim to do one of the songs they had heard him do on the radio. So, so uh, word, has, word has gotten out. This is a song, uh, it's, a, it's a true story and um, about a real person. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I, I want to do this song uh, because of uh, Brian Wilson's presence uh, and uh, also uh, wrote it in, with, with, with some regard for, for Ron Kobik too. It's called Wounded Healer. He lost both legs in Vietnam A landmine blew them to kingdom come Indeed his dancing days were done And he drank sometimes He blamed himself, no alibis Wrote his book, won the Pulitzer Prize Took his own life, everyone dies, but not everyone shines. This wounded healer never really healed at all. Killed by war and alcohol. You won't find his name on the wall, this wounded healer. Remember him well, Louis B. Puller Jr. He lived through hell. After 25 years of recovery, he started a school in the DMZ for the children of his former enemy, helping others to heal. Met someone like him who should have been dead Sitting on an NVA soldier's bed Their stumps were all tangled up He said it was incredible This wounded healer Never really healed at all Killed by war and alcohol you won't find his name 
on the wall, this wounded healer. Remember him well, Lewis B. Puller Jr. He lived through hell. His father was Chesty Puller, you see, the most decorated Marine in history. When Lou wrote his autobiography, he called it Fortunate Son. The healing of a Vietnam vet. Their suicide rate is like the national debt. The Vietnam War ain't over yet, not for every one. This wounded healer never really healed at all. Killed by war and alcohol. You won't find his name on the wall, this wounded healer. Remember him well, Lewis B. Puller Jr. He lived through hell. When Bush asked him, how's the healing going? He spoke up from his wheelchair. Mr. President, I'm completely healed, but there's still lots of men who are hurting out there. Got a chest full of medals just like his dad. His wife, Toddy, gave him the best she had. He left his book so let us be glad no matter what it cost. Icarus flew too near the sun. There was nothing on earth that could have been done. Remember him for the victories he won, not the one he lost. This wounded healer never really healed at all killed by war and alcohol you won't find his name on the wall this wounded healer remember him well Lewis B. Puller Jr. before he fell Thank you very much. And I'm going to do one more song here. Uh, this is uh, in, really in tribute to what uh, England has given to uh, our country. Uh, And uh, it's particularly poignant to me this year because this is the year that we're, uh, we just uh, celebrated the 800th anniversary of the signing of the Magna Carta in right. Runnymede, England. Did you expect you were going to hear a song about it? Amen. Uh, 1215, June 15, 1215. Uh, in Runnymead, England. It was what I call the moon landing for human rights. It was one small step, uh, but it was an essential step that eventually led uh, to the uh, Bill of Rights, uh, to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It grew, it took, it took many centuries to evolve, uh, but the idea of uh, that, that, that all power did not reside in one king, one monarch, the divine right of kings. That's where, it's, that's where it started. It was the beginning of the idea that we the people uh, have rights. And that concept has expanded every century since then. And 
It's never a battle won for all time. A lot of these fights have to be waged uh, over and over again, as you know. But nonetheless, this is a tribute to what happened in 1215. It's called the Ballad of Habeas Corpus. The, uh, the Ballad of Habeas, uh, the Habeas Corpus Act came out of the Magna Carta. And it's a, a profound part of what we think of in terms of due process of law. It says they can't just arrest you without cause, without telling you what your crime is uh, supposed to be. They can't keep you indefinitely. It's part of the whole uh, apparatus of, of the Fourth Amendment. And, and it didn't start, that's right, to bring the body. And it, 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 it was, it was uh, enacted in 1679, well before the American Revolution. And it was out of that that, that James Madison started thinking about the Bill of Rights. So this is for the uh, mates from across the pond. What makes us different from Argentina, where people would just disappear? They come in the morning without any warning, and everybody lived in fear. What says it can't happen here? It's the writ of habeas corpus that guarantees our liberty. Says they can't just come and take you like they did to the detainees. What makes us different from Soviet Russia, where Stalin ruled with an iron hand? They rounded up the kulaks, shipped them to the gulags, held secret trials where the press was banned. What keeps that from happening in this land? It's the writ of habeas corpus Guarantees our liberty Says they can't just come and take you Like they do to the detainees What makes us different from those good Germans who saw and heard and spoke no evil 90 miles away Guantanamo Bay it's a stain on we the people what says all men are created equal it's the writ of habeas corpus that guarantees our liberty Says they can't just come and take you Like they did to the detainees What makes Bush different from the King of England Back when they thought the earth was flat In the Tower of London They throw you in the dungeon But England put an end to that They enacted a writ fit for a rat It's the great writ of habeas corpus Guarantees our liberty Says they can't just come and take you Like they did to the detainees So here's a song for 
the Magna Carta and England's habeas corpus act. To the police lieutenant, where is the defendant? And what are you charging him with, in fact? You can't just keep him under wraps. It's the great writ of habeas corpus that guarantees our liberty. Says they can't just come and take you like they do to the detainee. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh, thanks so much, Ross, for opening it up properly for us.